Greetings everyone, I'm Chef Chai Rifka from livingvision.com and I'm here today on behalf of Living Tree Community Foods. We're going to be going over a recipe for a, um, sweet, a almond citrus vinaigrette and I'm using Living Tree's almond oil for this recipe. Um, it's a really beautiful oil, very gentle in flavor, so it's great for any recipe that you really want to bring out all of the other flavors that you're using. Um, and just have a nice, simple, and very healthful backbone um, oil to use. So we're just going to jump right in and get started on this recipe. What I'm going to start with is um, one quarter cup and two tablespoons of the almond oil. And that is six tablespoons of almond oil. I'm going to be using my little handy metric wonder cup here where I can just measure out exactly what I need. It's a great tool because uh, it can measure out liquids as well as sticky ingredients. You can measure it by all different sizes and just scrape everything right out. So we'll put that aside. Now I'm also going to be using one tablespoon of um, fresh squeezed lemon juice. That gives it a nice kick. And I have a quarter cup of fresh squeezed orange juice. You can use any orange you like. I'm using a navel orange. Mandarin would be really wonderful, um, as well as the Valencia oranges, anything you have available to you. And then I have um, a half a teaspoon of lemon zest. And I'm also going to be using one full teaspoon of orange zest. So it's a really nice aromatic dressing um, that can be used for any type of a salad that you uh, enjoy. Today I'm going to be making a spinach salad for this dressing. So I wanted to show you how I zest uh, citrus. And I'm using a microplaner here. Um, if you don't have a microplaner uh, and you have another type of citrus zester, that's great. If you don't have a citrus zester, you can always use your knife and just gently um, scrape off the very outside layer of your orange. You don't want any of the white um, pith that is underneath. We just want the essential oils. In, um, in, the, in, the, in the outside of the orange. So here I go, I'm just gonna zest. Each time I go across my microplaner, I'm just going in one place on the orange um, for the same reason. I don't wanna get the uh, bitter underside, just getting all those nice essential oils out of the orange. And if you're um, using any orange you're using, whether it's organic or not organic, um, you do want to wash the orange first or any citrus. Oftentimes at your um, organic market, they will still use a beeswax on your orange. So you want to wash that off first. Okay, so that's about the whole orange. And what I want is about a teaspoon of the zest. This is a great tool as well. It's called a bash and chop and you can easily scrape up um, any type of ingredient that you've chopped. So I'll measure out a teaspoon. So that orange was just a teaspoon, exactly. We'll add that to our mix. Okay, and we'll put our orange aside. Um, next thing I want to add is a tablespoon of honey, and Living Tree has a wonderful honey snuggle spoon. I love the name. Okay, so we're adding a tablespoon of honey. It's a light, sweet, and aromatic dressing. It's really refreshing. So there's our honey. And then I'm also going to add some salt. Just a half a teaspoon to start. Um, it's a nice amount to start with, then you can taste it, and if you wanted a little salt here, add some more salt to it. Um, it's always easier to add than it is to try and make it less salty. Okay, so we're gonna blend these ingredients. Um, if you like garlic, you can also add a little garlic to it, but I'm just gonna keep it like this for today. We just want to blend it to get all the ingredients incorporated. Now this is a really
really nice, uh, light, sweet citrus dressing as it is. I also like a little dill in here, so that's optional. You can add about a teaspoon of chopped dill, and I'm adding that in um, in the end because I don't want it to turn the whole dressing green. I'd rather just have pieces of dill chopped in. So that was a really quick blend just to incorporate the dill. Now we're going to give the mix a little taste. And that's just perfect. It's sweet, not too sweet, really refreshing. Mm -hmm. The zest is beautiful on there. So um, you can store your dressing in um, a glass jar. Uh, if you have a dressing container, you can use that. I have a dressing container here. Um, and I did forget my funnel today, so we'll see how I pour that in. But for now, let's just get our salad going. So I'm doing a baby spinach salad. Um, you can use any type of green that you love. This would also be a great marinade for um, a, a kale salad. Really, you know, what, whatever you have in the fridge, um, sprouts, greens, kale, mix it all together. Use some zucchini noodles. But today I'm going to do a simple um, spinach salad. And I'll be making enough for one person. So I'll put some baby spinach in a bowl. I'm also using some thinly sliced um, red onion. I'm going to use some apple juice sweetened cranberries. Um, and you can find those on Living Tree Community Foods as well. It's the type of cranberries that I highly recommend. There's no um, added sugar in it, it's just apple juice. And um, I'm also going to be adding some soaked sunflower seeds. I soaked them overnight and then rinsed them to remove the husks. Um, and they're really nice as um, a bit of crunch. It also makes the salad a little more filling. So to that, I'm just going to drizzle some of our citrus dressing on top. There we go. And I'll give it a nice little toss. The nice thing about those sunflower seeds also is that um, they stick to the leaves after they've been soaked. So a lot of times if you're adding a nut or a seed um, to your salad, it just sinks to the bottom of the bowl. So this way it really gets incorporated into the salad. And finally, I'm just going to put this salad on our plate. Some of those cranberries fell to the bottom. You can see those in there. It's looking quite beautiful. I also have some chopped almonds that I'll just sprinkle over the top. That'll give it a little more crunch. And as an option, you can also um, add some fresh orange to it. What I would do is just chop the top and the bottom of your orange off and then peel it. Just chop off that outside rind. Make sure you get both sides, get all that white pith off, off of there. Although the white part is very um, good, it's high in vitamin C, but it's quite bitter. So I'm just going to remove it. And then we're just going to cut this into some sections. And you can just put some orange slices on there. I don't toss the orange slices in because they again also fall to the very bottom. So you can just incorporate them. Okay. There you have it. That is our citrus almond vinaigrette on top of a spinach salad. A wonderful meal for any time of the year. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you soon.